Thank you, Mr. Mama. Thank you for being with us today and giving us this interview for Bahrain this week. Welcome. Welcome anytime. And congratulations. We see a beautiful studio in here, a beautiful workshop with so many things happening. So uh, let us start off like with the name itself. Mm -hmm. This wood jewelry. Okay. But coming here, we see that this is more than jewelry. Mm -hmm. So can we know about the beginning and what this is all about? Okay. It's a long story about the wood jewelry. Uh, I graduated at uh, 1993 as architect engineer. Okay, but I didn't work in architecture. I work in interior design. Okay, uh, mo the most material that you are using in interior design is the wood. So I get in love with the wood for <laughs> the last around uh, 22 years. Okay, uh, then I. 2011, I want to do a special gift for somebody which is very close to me. Okay, so I done a piece of wood by myself, then I cover it with silver, and I done it as a necklace, and I give it to her like uh, for a gift. Uh, then a lot of people, they like this, this idea, so from that we start the wood jewelry. Okay, so um, you and uh, your partner, you have a partner? Yes, I have a partner, he's Mustafa Nasheed. So you both have uh, bought together art, uh, wood jewelry? At uh, the start, uh, starting time I was alone, then Mustafa came to the line. Okay. Yeah. So each of the pieces that we find here, they have been exclusively made by you? Uh, nowadays I'm doing uh, me and Mustafa. Mustafa also is an architect engineer. Okay. Me and Mustafa doing the designs. These are these. Before we are doing the production as well. Okay. But these are these. We have people to do the production. We are doing the design now because the the work going bigger and bigger, and we cannot do each and every piece. Alone, so yes. Somebody to support you. Exactly. So, what are the inspirations that you get to do a particular design? Because we find that uh, it's not just being inspired by some other piece. Uh, you don't, you don't just see a golden jewelry or a silver jewelry and then copy it to wood. Okay. I haven't seen that. So, please tell me, like, what is your inspiration? Okay. Uh, to give you a small idea about the wood jewelry, this is our profile. Okay. Uh, we are using two kind of uh, wood. One is the Indian or which is available in the market, Indian or Barmatic. Okay, it's very famous in India, I think. <laughs> then the African rosewood. The better than African rosewood is the Indian rosewood, but it's not allowed to take it out of India these days. Right. Okay, so we start by doing, as I told you, necklaces, uh, ladies, ladies' stuff, necklaces, earrings, rings, and these things, and cufflinks for uh, uh, men's. Okay, but the idea came bigger and bigger and bigger by all, by the customer themselves or by some ideas came from um, our mind. Uh, then we start to do boxes, we start to do plates, we start to do lightings, we start, and there is a lot of ideas also coming in the in the way for the future. That's brilliant. Yeah. We find that you are located at a very silent, very serene place where lot of even a lot of Bahamis are not very familiar with. Mm -hmm. No, actually, it's a Bahrain Crafts Development Center yeah. right here in Manama. Yeah. So, how did you come up in this place? How did you find your space in here? Okay, uh, we was having in. Uh, I came to this place around last year, last year uh, June or July last week, last year. <coughs> At April last year, we was having a. Exhibition for Plus 973, uh, Artisana Plus 973, if you hear about it. Okay, so in that exhibition, we was doing uh, an invitation box for Sheikh Hasebija. Okay, then from there, the Minister of uh, Commerce, he was there, and the, the Ministry of Commerce, they are owning this uh, place. Invite us to take a workshop here. 